What's going on YouTube? Johnny from Johnny the Marker here, back again with another video. And in this video, guys, I'm going to be talking about ClickFunnels versus Shopify and why um, you should be using one or the other, okay? Also, what I'm going to give you guys, if you watch this whole video, I'm going to give you the exact funnel that I was using to make $6,000 within a two-month time frame um, and about like $2,000 profit um, just on the side income just using funnels. So I'm going to give my comparison, but I'm also going to give you guys a bonus and the exact funnel, the exact product that I actually um, made the money with, okay? So to begin, what is ClickFunnels? ClickFunnels is a program that allows you to make sales funnels. Now, it is <clears throat> designed so that you can make more money um, and sell more to people, okay? So that's the whole purpose of ClickFunnels. It's to make sure that you as the seller, as the person who is trying to get in front of an audience, is making the most money and maximizing the most uh, profit out of that person. Whatever the customer, whatever you're selling, it's just designed to make more money. And I'm going to show you guys how they do that. Okay, so that is, keep that in mind, that is the whole purpose of ClickFunnels, it's just to make you more money, okay? Now, back in 2017, I believe, is when I started getting into dropshipping, getting into Shopify, started selling some things, um, and Shopify was great to me. I can't complain about Shopify, I made a lot of money on Shopify, I was able to sell a store, um, and also make two different stores and two different niches and sell things, like, it was beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. Um, and I don't, I'm not saying that it's not great, um, and it has its purpose. And I think that purpose, in my opinion, is to um, use it as a brand, right? Like, you're not, like, a lot of people in the Shopify business, dropshipping world, they go onto Shopify and they just put a thousand products on there. There's no brand consistency, there's no type of storyline, there's nothing. It's just like you're adding a whole bit of different products and just hoping one product sticks, okay? And that's fine, you can do that. Um, but in my opinion, that's not the right way to do it. The right way to do it is to get a funnel. Now, you can use ClickFunnels or you can use something else. I use ClickFunnels personally, um, but the point of a funnel is so that you can, A, show a single product to that person so they're not like on a store. And the store serves its purpose, right? The store should be um, more so when you have a, a brand and like a consistent um storyline in terms of your products like your product line should be consistent with what you're selling um, <clears throat> whereas a funnel you're just showing them one product and then in the front end and by front end I mean like you're just say like I'm trying to sell I don't know this Hallmark card right and this is the card I'm selling on my front end offer okay so like let's say I'm doing a free plus shipping offer and this is um, the card right like this is the free plus ship offer all right that's what you're going to show them in the front end now a lot of people, and I actually got into um, Shopify with a free plus ship offer, and it was a cat necklace, right? Like, it was, I was just selling it free plus shipping. I didn't know anything about um, cart conversion or um, ALV, average cart value. I didn't know um, how to optimize that. I didn't know anything about that. I was just trying to get my feet wet and just selling these cat necklaces. And for some reason, they hit. Like, they made me a lot of money, and that's how I got into the Shopify world and the drop shipping world. And... From then, from then on, I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. But I didn't understand that there's a whole different way to make more money um, until I started using funnels. Now, what you see on your screen here is a funnel that I ran from June 1st, 2017, August 1st, uh, 2017, and it made $6,000 with a average cart value of $18.40. Now, the average cart value of $18.40 is crazy because the product that I was selling was a free plus ship offer, right? And this works really well with free plus ship offers. So I'm gonna show you guys the product in a, in, a, in a minute, but I wanna get you guys to understand what a funnel is and what it is compared to Shopify. So um, in this funnel, I actually ran it straight to the order form. So the order form got a 51% opt-in rate, meaning 50% of people that came to this uh, order form put in their information to get more information about the product, right? Which is crazy, which is insane. Um, you don't typically see that um, number that high on Shopify. Um, it's usually much lower. Now the sell rate is even even much better than uh, what Shopify is. Like Shopify, I think the average is two percent. So I was getting seven point four three percent of people who came to this order form and bought from me. Okay, so seven point four three percent of people bought from me when they hit this order form, which is nuts because the average, on, like again, like I said, the average on Shopify is like two percent. I think maybe like two point five percent pushing it 
I'm not saying that it can't go higher, but you have to do a lot of different things in order for you to get to that point. So that brought in $4,390. Um, and this is where it gets really interesting, okay? So I didn't understand OTOs, okay? OTO means one-time offer. I didn't understand that. I didn't know what that was. And if I would have known this a long time ago in Shopify, when I started Shopify, I would have made so much more money because what you're doing is you're showing them more products that relate to the initial product. Makes sense, right? Like you're showing them something that they're already interested in because they're buying the first product, then why wouldn't they, why wouldn't they buy the second? Like, especially if you give them a discount or a deal. There is a certain percentage of people who will always buy your OTO. They just always will. So you can see here that 31% of people bought my OTO, right? Like what if I never showed them this OTO here? They would have just bought this one product and I would have just made 4,000, but I made an extra $1,300 just because I showed them additional product. So this is the power of funnel. I just want you guys to understand the power of the funnel itself because Shopify is great, right? But it's harder for you to make more money off of that person because of the store this the store atmosphere like for example someone can go to the store land on your page and then click on a different product and then they get like distracted and boom they're they're gone right so you have to spend money to remarket and to get to that person back to your store whereas if you're showing them just one product in the front end like i said the card and then you upsell them or show them otos you're gonna uh kind of keep their attention right because they're 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 focused they're laser focused on that one product so 31 percent of people bought that oto and then I, I showed them another OTO, right? And 3% of people bought that. And then as it goes down, it, it lowers. So the biggest kit is like the the, 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 um, the biggest product, so the more expensive product. And it was 1.3% of people bought that. But still, I still netted uh, another $160 just by showing people these products, right? And that is the power of what a funnel can do, okay? The funnel is made, like I said, to make you more money. Now, if you have this funnel right and this is where you want to use shopify but this is how i would do it right and i'm kind of going um in two different directions so what you want to do is start out with a funnel test a single product and then you want to build out your store around that product so like on the order confirmation page here you can link them to your shopify store and say hey like i have more products and different products related to the initial product you bought and get them to that store get them to land on there then you can remarket and you know you're already selling to that buyer you know they bought so they're probably more likely to buy again from you, um, which is really, really a critical point in a lot of people's businesses. They don't understand that it takes way more money to get a new customer than it does to sell to your current customers. You have to sell to your current customers, and that's a great way to do it is by on the order confirmation pages, sh uh, ship them to your store, and then show them more products, right? Or even ship them to another funnel where you're having another free plus ship offer that's related to the initial free plus ship offer and just get them in a whole world of free plus ship offers that has upsells and downsells and different things that will maximize the value of that customer. Now, this doesn't seem um, like it works, but I'm telling you time and time again, I've tested so many funnels and it does. Like uh, someone who's new to this or just seeing ClickFunnels may not know what ClickFunnels is. And I'm gonna show you guys my funnel, exact funnel in a few seconds. Uh, and the exact product that I did it with in a few seconds, but it does work. So if you want this funnel, all you have to do is click the link below and you can get this funnel completely free. All you have to do is sign up for a ClickFunnels account um, and you will get this funnel, okay? And you can actually just start running products and switch out the images, switch out the prices and etc. So let me show you guys the product now, um, what I was selling. So I was selling this little fishing lure, okay? Um, I actually never ran traffic to the quiz. I was just trying it out to see if that worked. I never really ran traffic to it. I always just ran it straight to the actual order form. But I was running this on Facebook, obviously, and just straight to the order form. So you can see here, at the time, the brand was called Whitetail Fishing, but that's no longer the brand. But you can change all this out. Um, and you can see here that I just said, just simple thing, do the popularity of our free awesome fishing lure and make sell out as of today. Um, we have limited supply, blah, blah, blah. And I have this image here that's straight from AliExpress and then an order form here. So people enter their um, information here. And when they go to the next step, that is where you see the price. So for example, if I put in my information here, um, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then I just put, I'll just put test information here. It doesn't matter. Cause I just, just want to show you guys the pricing structure and how it went. So 
I just put yes, ship my lower, and then boom, right? Insured shipping, seven ninety five, dollars and then the credit card number, and then I can add another lower here, which is a bump. Some people do buy that, so um, that's another $10 that I'm just getting. Then you have a countdown timer, very simple, and some badges, some information about the lore, some images, these are straight from AliExpress as well, and that's it, that's really it. And this just sh shoots them back up to here. It's very, very, very simple, but so effective. And you would think that, you know, oh, it needs to be branded, it needs to be colored and all that stuff, but sometimes simple works better, and this worked really, really well for me. Um, so if we go back here, I'm gonna show you guys all the steps. So when you buy this first lore, right, and you go to the OTO, you're gonna want to see that I'm showing them more of the same product, okay? Literally same product. Um, I'm just saying, hey, wait, like I wanna give you another opportunity to buy another lore at a discounted price that's cheaper or even maybe even more expensive um, depending on how many you buy. But yeah, so add two discounted lures for $14.95, add one for $9.97, boom, right? And this is what 31% of people took on either buying two or buying one. And that's nuts, right? absolutely insane they're buying the same product and that's because it's related to the initial one and it's a lore so like why can't you have more than one lore right and then after that um, I show them a cross sell which is basically something that's also related to the initial product um, so it's a fishing plier in this case and then the biggest kit is I believe like a I want to say like a fishing box or something like that um, yeah, so you get two pliers for $21.95 or one plier for $11.95. And these are all from AliExpress, guys. Um, and what you do is once you're on the actual... Um, oh, this is actually an LED headlight. So this was $39.95. So if you want to add your products, once you get this funnel, again, all you can do is click the link below to sign up. Um, if you want to try this method, which I, I'm giving away for free, like so you might as well try it. All you have to do is add the product by going to products here and then just click add product because these products are not gonna show up once you get this funnel. But all you have to do is click add product and then it's gonna look like this where you can have a name, um, select your billing integration, which is Stripe for, my, for me. Um, and then you're also gonna get, make sure that it's a one-time product. And you can also add a product limiter to see how like, for like um, scarcity and stuff like that, you can add that as well. I didn't add that, but it, it works the same. And that's it guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I did and it works wonderful. So like I said, Shopify works really, really well, but I would suggest that you test out a funnel first and get that initial money coming through and that initial testing because funnels are designed to make you more money and then you can link them back to the Shopify store. Shopify and ClickFunnels are completely different entities and they're not the same thing and they're not designed the same way. But if you use them in combination, you can get amazing, amazing results. You just have to be creative in terms of how you're angling the product. So I would suggest, I love free plus ship because that's how you get them through the door and then you, you um, show them upsells and downsells and then you can get make more money that way, in my opinion. But you can do it as well with regular products, full price products. I've done this with um, a coffee um, a coffee maker that was like, uh, like $70 or something like that. And I was still giving them upsells and downsells and still making more money. Um, so it works either way. But the idea here is that you want to make sure that you're maximizing your value, maximizing the customer's value, because you don't know when that product's gonna die out, right? You, you kind of want to build that brand out so you can test out products in the funnel, and then once you have something that hits, you can make a Shopify store around it um, to actually make more money in terms of the, the niche, right? So like if you're doing, I don't know, um, dogs for example which is probably one of the, the one of the most saturated niches but if you have like um, one of those led collars and you're giving giving away um, that collar for free on click funnels then you can then on the order confirmation page link them back to your shopify store of all different dog products that they can continue to buy from so it's a definitely a unique strategy um and i would say that the best way to do it is to use them together um you don't have to choose one and I think a lot of people are like, oh, well, I need to choose Shopify and I shouldn't use ClickFunnels. And if I use ClickFunnels, I can't use Shopify. No, you can use them both together to make more money than you ever thought possible. And it just takes um, a bit of not even not even like it just takes a bit of angling of how you're going to get that person through the door for the front end offer. And then you can upsell them crazy and just make more money.
I don't know if this makes sense, um, but that's the difference between the two. One's a funnel builder, one's a store builder, but when you use them together, you make magic. Okay, guys, I hope this made sense. Again, I'm going to give you guys this complete funnel for free. I don't care if you even sell the same product. I'm not running traffic to this product, so go ahead, do it. If you want to just sell this product and try it out, go for it. I don't really care. But I'm going to give you guys this free funnel. All you have to do is click the link below to sign up for ClickFunnels, get this funnel in your account, and if you have any questions regarding setting it up or anything like that, just add me on Facebook, hit me up. I am more than happy to help you walk you through the process of um, setting up these products or setting up the funnel if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help you. So guys, if you want to, uh, more videos like this, definitely subscribe. Hit that alert button so you know when I post a video. Leave a comment if you have suggestions or concerns about the video or anything like that or you have um, ideas for future videos. I would love that as well because I'm always wanting to give you guys what you want to learn. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.